on a absolute beautiful day here. Mr. Randy, got three weeks. Get done here. Let's start today, making sure we do what we gotta do. All right, buddy. Have a good night out there. You keep it tight down these corners. You'll be fine. The green flag is in here. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Let's go racing, boys. But man, Toaster is putting up quite the battle out here. He's still down there. You're gonna do you like that. You remember, still down there. And you can just see how well. Our player up. Toaster gets up into Jose just a little bit. They hang on to it, J-Mac. These guys are very, very strong tonight. Right there, and then uh, when I was looking back earlier, I was trying to figure out if... Uh, gotta be clean. Doha gets wrecked. That is gonna make him lose the lead, I do believe, as this is the final lap. Jose is your new leader Please. here. Everybody work both lanes here. They're pulling the air real hard here. We have the 34 going in the middle. We have the 41 on the low side. Take advantage of it as quickly as possible. Got no one with him at the moment. Absolutely incredible. Dohar's got a nose out and he's got some draft help. Garbage takes the stage win. Dohar in second. Absolutely, you can see Sterlu right now coming up on a... Uh, whoa! Okay. I would have just saw my life flash before my eyes. That was extremely close as we had a car headed into pit road. We have contact. Rocky Top barely misses. Big wreck in your mirror. There is a wreck in the back. That might bring out the caution. One's coming to your bumpers. Oh, wow. That is... Oh, no, that's four wide now. That was four wide. This is just insane, this finish. <laughs> Trying to push up in between the 14. They're four wide per second. They're wrecking. They're about to wipe out. Oh, look at this. We have Doha. These guys are almost five wide. We have you the bolt hanging the on to it. Still there. Stay with it. Wreck him if you have to. Oh, huge, huge pile up. We have, man, cars just spinning. We have the 24, Jose. He is involved. Everyone has completely lost their minds as I'm hearing over the radio. The only way we're going to make any progress here is if we work together. Nobody's going to work together. Incredible right there. The breaking point or your let off point. Uh, you're going to have what's happened here in Dolar. Oh. Huge, huge accident. Well, oh, that should do it. It's jump. A pattern of rears everywhere, all the way around the corner. Jimmy, three white checker finisher. Give those belts a tug. You're ready to go. We're going to see if he crosses the line out here in one piece. Checkered flag in the air. Yeah! And you get a plus. Hell yeah, boys! <laughs> Man, you did a heck of a job in there. I couldn't be more proud of what you did this weekend. Yeah, for our good job. All night, man. You never know what you're gonna get here. This shows it once again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to round six of AKA's winter season. We brought the trucks out on track and the drivers are ready to hit the bull ring at Eldora and go slideways, so stay tuned for an exciting night. We also have huge news. Michael Levine and everyone at Roundabout Productions, they met their $5,000 goal for Extra Life. So a huge congratulations to them. If you still would like to donate though, you can visit extra-life.org slash team slash roundabout. Uh, but it, it's so cool that everyone helped out with that uh they they did a lot of work to put into this and everyone helped out a tremendous amount so a huge thank you to you guys you guys are really awesome but before we get to the race tonight which is going to be a crazy one i can promise you that we got to bring out the driver spotlights so let's give a warm welcome to our driver spotlights michael levine who pilots the number 95 element zero who's in the 38 and expert toaster who pilots the number 10 car Welcome, gentlemen. How are you tonight? Doing good. How's it going? Pretty good. Fabulous. I'm excited about tonight. <laughs> I I know we have Michael Levine, who's out here the first time, and uh, he's taken to the dirt, so it's going to be an exciting tonight. But that brings me to my first question. Which series is your favorite to race in and why? We'll go ahead and start with Element on this one. Mm, I would go Cup Series. Why? More horsepower. Uh, I, I'm I'm with you. I like the horsepower. There's nothing like the speed yeah. and just uh, trying to tame the craziness. So, I'm with you on that one. 
All right, Over expert there. toaster. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, which series is your favorite to race in and why? Um, I'd have to say, I'd still say Cup. Um, Heat 3 definitely was Cup. Heat 4, it's almost a toss-up Xfinity and Cup because they've slowed the Cup cars down. That's but true. yeah, I'm with Element. I like the faster, the faster the better. I hear you. All right, Michael Levine, how about you? What is your favorite to race in and why? Uh, to be honest, one of my first actual races. Um, but I'm... Uh, Man, I'm excited to fill out the truck. I've I have done a little bit of the Cup Series. Um, I haven't raced Xfinity before, so I'm excited to kind of see what the truck feels like. I, I like it. I mean, they're a ton of fun, and there's a lot of places that are very challenging in the Cups that can be a lot of fun uh, in the trucks because they're easier to handle. You can go side by side a lot more, go three wide, and it's a lot easier than in the Cup. So uh, I can see that too. All right, guys, with hitting the dirt tonight, what's the biggest challenge you face? And uh, we'll start with Michael on this one. Well, for me, it's going to be the inexperience. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of dirt in this game. So to uh, come out here and race with guys who do this every week, um, I think that's probably <laughs> my biggest hurdle here. You're very brave, I have to say. I know we talked about this a little bit before, but this is your first race online, and here you are taking to the dirt. So you're very brave, and I give you a lot of props for that. <laughs> well, doing it for the kids. We'll, uh, we'll see how embarrassing I am, but uh, yeah, we'll have fun. Absolutely. All right, Element, what about you? Uh, with hurting the, hitting the dirt tonight, what is your biggest challenge that you face? Uh, it's not just going to be a challenge, but for, everybody's going to be working traffic. You're going to have to be very much on your toes and take care of your truck and make sure you make it to the end. Uh, it's so true. Absolutely. All right, Toaster, how about you? What is your biggest challenge? It's a four-letter word spelled D-I-R-T. <laughs> I never really, just in general. I, I never, <laughs> yes, I never really run dirt. I just don't have don't have a whole lot of experience on dirt. Yeah, so we have two guys here that say the same. You know, it's just the inexperience, and it is dirt. These guys are in a Cup Series, and we're headed to the dirt tonight, so it is going to throw a couple of guys through the loop. Uh, I think we're going to see a couple of guys that we haven't seen up front tonight. We're going to see them rise to the top tonight, and it's going to be really cool to see that. Um, next question, though, what is the most memorable race you've participated in and why? And we'll start with Toaster. Now, is this good memories or bad memories? Whatever kind of memories you <laughs> that comes to your mind. <laughs> I, I it, Probably still my at my favorite races is still the same one we talked about last time. Yeah. And that was at Vegas racing with Jose. Um, that the was the worst cool. race was was racing for the rsr championship against bolt and i hit the apron and took him out with about 24 25 laps to go and oh geez cost him the championship so that was horrible yeah um but yeah those are my two fair enough yeah i mean memories whether they're good or bad they definitely come to mind so that brings me to element how about you what is the most memorable race you've participated in I would have to say the first race at SMB because that was my first league race in uh, 10 years after getting back on playing online. So I'd have to say that. That was pretty cool getting back into it. SMB makes the list. Very nice. <laughs> All right, Michael, how about you? What is your most memorable race? And considering this will be your first one, I'm very interested to hear. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine was probably the practice race i was in right before this um <laughs> i managed to not wreck anybody not spin out so i feel like that was a really memorable one uh well, you know we'll see i i i fully expect uh, if you ask me this after this race it'll, it'll be this one it'll, it'll be one of the longest races i've ever done um so we'll see i got a lot of time to learn a lot of windshield time that's true so true all right what's something we don't know about you we'll start with you michael oh, something you don't know about me um mm -hmm. Man, way to just throw that one at me. <laughs> uh, Random, right? 
I know. Um, probably the as much as I'm a gamer, I'm not much of a racer. Um, I like to play a lot of like shooters, a lot of solo games, co-op games, stuff like that. Um, I have before today. I'm not sure I have ever actually raced a race online. As as much as I like work in the sport and do all this stuff, like I've never actually raced people online. Which I've talked to you about this a couple of times um, way back. And I found it interesting because you're like, you know, I play this and this and this. And I'm like, what about racing? You can come race with us. And I remember you saying, yeah, I, I don't really do that. <laughs> so I, I guess yeah, you get that fulfillment. I don't much. Yeah, during the day. So I can see that, though. I can see that. But here you are on the dirt. So like I said, huge props to you. That's that's really awesome. All right, Element. What about you? What is something we don't know about you? Ooh, all right. So, as much of a metalhead as I am, I have a soft spot for Michael Jackson. Don't Whoa. Tell really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Michael Jackson was amazing. I was not expecting that so, one. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. Always coming with that. There you go. All right, Expert Toaster, what is something we don't know about you? Um, not a lot of people know that I, I play music if I'm playing guitar. Since I was knee high to a grasshopper, I play bass and I play piano. Oh, nice! And I record cool. music. So you're very musical. That's pretty cool. You gotta appreciate that. All right. And Your my final... favorite music yes. is the the metal too. The, I would say. Is it really okay? But and that props, I did not expect. Yeah, big props to <laughs> yeah, big props to Michael Jackson. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Final question. I'll get you on out to qualifying. What is your favorite movie? We'll start with Expert Toaster. God, I don't know that I really have a favorite movie. I guess my favorite, you know, I like the epic movies, and I yeah. guess it would be the series, The Lord of the Rings. I would probably That's be a good one right now. Yeah. That or the series Game of Thrones, I actually like that too, and a lot of people mm -hmm. did, and a lot of people hated it. But mm -hmm. I, I can hear that, though. Yeah. All right, Element, what is your favorite movie? I know you watch a lot out there, don't you? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have to go with the goat, and that is Star Wars all day, every day. I knew that was coming. I saw that one a mile away. <laughs> 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 all right, Michael, what is your favorite movie? Well, I was going to go with Star Wars, but BNC took that. I am going to go with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, actually. That's I a love good one, too. Too. Yeah. That's a good one. I like your guys' movie choice. I'll take that. They, they're pretty good here. You guys, I appreciate you guys being in the booth. A ton of luck to you tonight. Um, but these guys are getting ready to go out to qualifying. We're headed to 150 laps tonight. But uh, like I said, thank you so much for being in the booth and a ton of luck out there. Thanks, thank Frozen. You. Take care. Absolutely. Right All right. Like I said earlier, these guys, uh, Michael Levine and uh, their production, they went out and raised $5,000 thanks to you guys and uh, all the hard work that they did. So thank you so much. If you do want to donate, you can still do so. We're going to bring that up right here. We'll get that in chat. But it is uh, extra-life.org slash team slash roundabout. They hit the 5,000, but obviously if you want to give more, that only helps uh, the kids. It goes 100% towards them in the hospitals to help them with whatever it is, uh, sickness, injuries, you name it. It's such a great cause. So thank you so much for reaching that out there. Uh, if you can, please donate. Like I said, it goes to a great cause. And I have yet to introduce, obviously, J-Mac Attack, who is with me in the booth as always. What is up tonight, J-Mac? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> it's always good to have you here um i gotta ask what do you expect tonight in the dirt oh uh, a lot of slipping and sliding uh, a lot of it being really really hard to pass is uh, one thing that i've learned about dirt racing in this game uh with other people is that it is can be very very tough to pass so 
like uh, like I said earlier, uh, the lat traffic is going to be a huge, huge deal, and navigating that traffic is going to decide who wins and loses this race. It's so true, and we, we were talking about it before the race, but like I said, there are a couple of names to look out for tonight that you usually are not going to see up there. Um, so we're going to have to watch it. We have Kamikaze. He's coming in. He is a dirt guy. So he's going to be super good out here tonight. We have Garbage. He's a name that, we, well, pretty much wherever he goes, he's going to be really fast. Elements fast out there. We have Doc that is fast out there. Pro Boss, he's another fast name out there. So we're really going to have to watch them. But I do, once again, I have to give a huge shout out to Michael Levine. He's coming out here in the dirt. His very first race, and it's in the dirt. And you guys know this. Uh, you got to turn right to go left. And it's it can get pretty crazy out there. There is no pitting tonight. Their, uh, their fuel is full, and they don't need to come in. There's no pit road to even go into on this game. 150 laps, so think about this. It's 100% race. You have damage on. It's three times wear, so it's going to get crazy. It's constant concentration. You have to get into that rhythm, and if you lose that rhythm, you're either going to hit that outside, outside wall, the inside, or you're hitting somebody else, so... It's going to be a lot. And as J-Mac says, you really have to uh, watch the lap traffic. We're going to see a lot of issues with that tonight. And it's going to be pretty challenging to keep track of who is leading at the moment. It's going to be a lot of tight racing out there. So very exciting night. It's going to be our first race of the season to hit the dirt. They're not going to be out there in the cup. I know this is a cup series, but they're out there in the trucks tonight. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's a very unique thing. This is the Cup Series, as they say, but they uh, they tend to throw out some random cars every once in a while, and uh, that was the only way to get a dirt race. We can't uh, race uh, dirt cars uh, or dirt tracks with the Cup cars yet, so they have to go to the trucks to to add a little bit of a a a, a twist to the to the schedule. It's true. I mean, they they had a couple of them so far. Let's take a look at points, though. Here are the points, and we have a couple of new names out there, considering we are going to the dirt. Uh, but we have Tom Tom Flitty, who has moved up to second. We have Element, who has lost a spot, but he's still hanging in there. Uh, it's pretty close with points. We're going to see a lot of movers. We have Garbage, who is in six. We have... String, who has moved up to fourth. We have Big John in fifth, and he's a newer name to the Xbox side, but he is really making a name for himself over here. So it's really cool to see uh, what he's been doing on track. I I'm excited to see what he can do tonight also. He's one of those that I feel are, are really going to grow. Uh, but I do want to give a shout out to the chat. Thank you so much for you guys coming out here. We have Danny, who is uh, who gave us a follow. So thank you for that. That was really awesome. We have Hall, who subscribed. So thank you for that. It's really cool. This is this is my first time streaming all week, J Mac. I feel like I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> it it has been. I think we're all still maybe a little. We still have a little bit of a food coma hangover from. From Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, uh, it's, it's just been such an off week. It's been so weird I having know. a few random off days, you know, and and some of us have had to work a couple of days, but that's it. And I don't know. It's just been a, a weird and wild and woolly week, but uh, we're here. We're in the booth for AKA, and uh, we're about to get to see some good racing. Absolutely. I don't know if they're still out there in qualifying. I would imagine that they are almost done. Uh so what I'm hearing is they just finished qualifying. So we should get to go to racing at Eldora pretty soon here. But I'm excited going to the dirt. A lot of these guys made their own paint schemes. We talked to uh, Michael Levine and he made his own paint scheme. And it was to reflect extra life and the colors that they have. So it's really cool to see him out there. Uh, we have Kay Levine. Thanks again for you all support and encouragement with Roundabout Pro and Extra Life. Absolutely. I'm so excited that you guys have met the $5,000 goal. Uh, it's it's so exciting for that. And I, I hope that we can raise even a little bit more. So once again, like I said, if you guys can uh, go ahead and get that out there. Let me see. Should be able to bring this up. We'll see. 
there you go. That is the link for it. If you can donate, even $5 makes such a huge difference. From what I'm hearing, guys, we have garbage on pole. I am not surprised. The guy was fast out there. He was leading uh, during practice. We had Element in second, so he was super fast out there. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do. Garbage and elements on the front row right there. We're hearing over the radio. We have go fast Matt out in chat uh, He says hey J Mac. How you doing tonight? So doing all right <laughs> <laughs> Thank you there you hear it. I know you guys have a race right after this too You guys are so crazy back-to-back -back stuff going on Oof. tonight. I mean you know I have me. very limited seat time for so that's probably gonna be rough <laughs> Where are you guys headed is I Iowa, correct? Iowa Iowa. Yeah, it's, yep. a, it's a fun track. It's a fun track. It's very much like yeah. Eldora, where it takes a lot of rhythm, and you you got to stay in that rhythm. Just gonna crank the wedge up to fifty five percent and ride around in twentieth the whole race. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just don't hit the seam. I I know the seam is a huge issue there. It's crazy out there. All right, we're getting the invite, so we're going to go ahead and we're getting started to go to Eldora in the dirt. A lot of new names out here, a lot of new faces, but I am so excited. You guys are going to see some crazy racing, so tight, two, three wide, uh, bumping and banging. It's going to be a fun night. If you guys know who you're rooting for, let me know in chat. A lot of good names out here. J Mac, who do you think is going to win? I always put you on the spot for this, so I have to ask Knight. Who do you see winning? I have, I have <laughs> absolutely no idea. I feel like, I mean, if there are new names from from the Dirt series from or that run Dirt a lot on this game, then obviously those would be guys that you'd look to. But I feel like Garbage, who can run basically anything, is going to be the main driver to watch tonight. I feel okay. like. And Maybe. you know what? I'm, I'm with you. He's super fast and already we have him out there in that six truck. That is wow. That's garbage. He already is in the lead. He was on pole. We have element in that 38 directly behind him. These guys are off to a strong start. Uh, the top three in a single file, but behind them. I don't know if you caught that. It was three, almost four wide already. So it, it's already starting to look a little crazy out there. Yeah, real life uh, Eldora, they run they have to run right up against the wall and in the game version of it, they run right there along that wall. But still, you can run side by side to sometimes even three wide if you're feeling really, really frisky. Uh, you can you can make some moves and you can race pretty well with each other and there is a caution already it seems. <laughs> <laughs> there is a caution already, and I think we're going to see a few of these tonight. Uh, there's so many cars out here, so I should say, so many trucks out here. Uh, it's just going to happen. There's a lot of bumping and banging. If you catch the inside wall, you could bounce off of it and hit the guys behind you. So it's just going to be one of those things. You're going to have to have a lot of patience. These guys are going to have to give each other a lot of room, and there's only so much room you can give when you're at a dirt track such as Eldora. One super positive about racing here at Eldora is that we don't, I don't have to sit here and try to guess at the pitch strategies. Uh, there is none. Don't come there in. There is none. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. You can't pit. You're out there. Uh, so you, you rung what you brung. So I want to give a shout out to Jacob is 11. Hi, what is up? Thank you for joining in to, and tuning in tonight. These guys are going back to green after the first caution and that only took a couple of laps to bring that out but they are back to green we have garbage he's still starting off there we have element directly behind him these guys are very very close you see way back in the field it goes pretty far deep there J Mac. it does indeed uh yeah the, the front two you can see garbage's truck from space that lime green truck and then followed <laughs> by that the black uh the black 38 of element and then from there it's a it's a pretty good race a lot of side-by-side -side action want to bring it back here just a little bit 
We're up out here with Big John at the moment, and he's looking pretty good. But look at the battle in front of him. I mean, it's getting pretty tight out there. They're doing a great job of racing side by side. The fun thing about this is that you can really lean on each other, and it's not going to hurt you too terribly much. Uh, we have the 41 who gets moved out just a little bit, but these guys are leaning against each other. You can really push into that corner. It, it doesn't hurt your truck, but it does can hurt your feelings. <laughs> you, <laughs> it can a little bit. If you want to, if, if you want to start moving people this early in the race, that could be, uh, that could be, that could come back to bite you a little later on. So this is definitely a, a time in the race when you want to work to get as good a track position as possible, but you want to try to take care of everybody. We are back out here, battle for the lead. Garbage and Element are side by side. Man, close, close battle here. Farrah Fawcett says it looks like we are still in the l lobby. Uh, I'm telling you, it, I mean, uh, it looks good on my end. I'm not sure, but maybe refresh. But these guys are so close. Element and Garbage trying to go side by side. Garbage takes over that lead once again, keeps it. We have Element directly behind him, and he's got Deegan right behind him. And that's in the 19 car, I do believe. Uh, let me take a look. That is TAC 24. That's TAC so, 24, 88. Yeah. He is doing a great job out there battling against them. Yeah, these three have checked out on the rest of the field. Uh, this is going to be who... Uh, this isn't a place where you have a lot of opportunity to make adjustments uh, unless you want to lose like, a lot of track position. So I think what we see here is pretty much what it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be down to, to who makes mistakes and, again, who's able to navigate traffic. But I was really interested to, to see who's running what times and, and who's running within the same pace and right now it's looking like a three a three oh, horse race at the moment we have a little wreck in the back there i saw the eight truck uh out against the wall i do believe that is going to bring out the second caution of the night we had two trucks against the wall so that was a pretty close one right there It's going to be easy to do, guys. I mean, it's a long night, 150 laps, but it goes very, very fast. Uh, I do believe we had 25 laps to go in the first stage. We have 50 laps per stage, so it's already half over for stage one, JPEG. It's crazy how fast it can go. This is a very tiny track, and it takes very, very little amount of time to get around it. And uh, that. That makes for a really, really short race. That also makes for some for some excitement and some, some close quarters action. I'm really curious to see if we can get in a, a long green run here, or, or as long as is possible with only about 20 laps or so, to see what happens when these guys get to lap traffic. Yeah, it's, we have Garbage still out there in the front. Element tucks in directly behind him, the 19 behind him. But man, Garbage just looking so strong out there tonight. Uh, it's going to be really tough for anyone to try to catch and pass him. Element seems to be the one to be able to do it along with Tack. I mean, he's tacking along right behind him. Uh, but they're looking pretty good out there. Ooh. <laughs> pretty wide at the back of the pack, but I was looking at this battle for, for uh, fourth place. It's heating up right now between the, the two of Ramsit and uh, whoever that is behind him. <laughs> can't tell with the custom cars, but uh, Ramsett left just a little bit of a hole. That's Big John in the 47. Uh, just left a little bit of a hole that Ramsett left him, and uh, he, uh, Big John tried to fill it, and uh, he wasn't able to, and almost got squeezed in the wall, thought wiser of it, and backed out of it. But uh, right now these guys are doing a little better job of staying in touch with this front three. Yeah, they are. Right now, we're on board with Michael Levine out here, and he is looking pretty stable, man. I'll tell you what, it just shows how bumpy this track is. It is absolutely crazy. You really have to keep it steady, but you can see everyone around him racing. Uh, we have the eight truck passing him up right there, but he is really holding on to the outside. It's more stable out there, but that inside line, that is going to be the fastest line. You're going to see a lot of these guys hook that front end around it. It's going to really help them turn if you hook right on that line down there. So we're going to see a lot of those guys hang on to that. One thing I am seeing right here in this battle for fourth is 
Big John run entering just a little bit later than that two car. He's able to get a little bit better of a run. The two sliding out of the corners just a little bit more, losing a little bit more speed down the straightaway. But right now he's been able to hold on, uh, running just a little bit of a almost a, a road course line, a late apex type of line for that uh, 47 truck. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. I'm impressed. Uh, we're going to have 15 to go at the line. We see Big John directly behind that two of Ramsit. These guys looking pretty strong, but those top three, you can see them getting away just a little bit. But guess what, guys? They're coming up on lap traffic, so it's going to get pretty interesting for these guys really shortly. Yeah, we're talking about them staying in touch. That did not last for very long, but right now these top three doing their dangdest to, to pull out on the field. Now they're catching the back of the, the pack, and uh, it's about to get real, real interesting here. And we're going to see who has the best truck racing around each other because these three haven't had to do a whole lot of side-by-side of -side action yet. It's so true. We have Dohar out in chat. What is up? He says, Dirt Derby. You Ooh. said it right there. A little contact and between... And the 51. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were talking about the 51 <laughs> truck with a uh, gets really loose off of turn two and managed to hit oh. two of our uh, our top three there we had oh, what happened? <laughs> we had someone a few cars back uh look like he got completely sideways i don't see a caution out just yet it may stay green we're gonna find out but that put a little bit of space with that contact with the 38 and the 51 Garbage is getting away. He's putting some sp some padding between him and second place, so he's really going to have to catch up to him. Yeah, the 51 truck of Johnny Rocket, that was the one they came on, and he is uh, struggling right now. That, there is no wear I, that I know of, and I don't think the, the tires may wear, but it's minuscule, but they do heat up, and you, you do lose a little bit of grip, and if you start ticking that right rear off, it can make the truck really loose. And in that higher line, in that that top half top third of the racetrack it can be really really slick up there and right now the 51 trying to get out of everybody's way uh i don't think that truck is very good and it's running a a, a line that is not conducive to being able to hold on to, to it so uh just really unfortunate what happened there to break up our lead group we have garbage moving through more lap traffic and uh, he makes it past the 95 of Michael Levine and is on his way. Looks like Element caught up just a little bit. What is going on? He is so down low. It was making me a little nervous there with the camera angle, but he looks like he's doing pretty good there. Element tr just trying to catch up to him, hoping that some lap traffic really uh, kind of puts a pause on his driving there. But man, this guy is a man on a mission. The 42 of MDL, and they are making his way past him. No problem. These guys were almost three wide, but man, oh man, Element is all over Garbage, putting the pressure on him. Garbage is going to be doing a lot of mirror driving. Garbage able to keep it just a little bit lower than Element is out of the corner when they're by themselves, at least that time around. Uh, this time around, it's garbage that slides up a little bit early. Right now, it looks like they're taking maybe a little different lines. Turns 1 and 2 do drive a little differently than turns 3 and 4 here. So it can, you can have a little bit of different entry points at each, at each corner, and it can feel differently, and you can you can have a little bit of an advantage over another driver and a disadvantage over that same driver at opposite ends of this track. Scary situation there. A car trying to turn itself around as we are four to go for stage one. Garbage makes his way around along with Element. These guys have some nice padding between second and third, but uh, I, I would tell you that would uh, make me a little nervous seeing that spin directly in front of me, but they're they're still doing good. Yeah, I imagine AKA Attack. he's going to be fighting a, 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 a uphill battle. He's probably got some damage to repair. That, that truck has not looked very good since the, the issue with the 51 and that'll probably be something he has to come into repair and he'll lose a lot of track position luckily they've left a lot of trucks so it won't be as bad as it could have element trying to sneak his way underneath put gives garbage a little bit of a nudge as we are two to go they are coming to the line for the final lap can Ooh. element hang on to it garbage kind of sneaking him down to the wall trying to crowd him a little bit Man, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a crazy battle. This is the final lap for stage one. 
Garbage with an incredibly aggressive pinch. Uh, element was almost basically to his door, and uh, and Garbage just kind of ran his normal line. That's going to be the difference. Element wisely backed out of it, but I think he'll he'll file that one away for later on. Garbage takes home first for stage one. Element in second, and we have Tack in third. Crazy, crazy, crazy stage one. Uh, it, you guys, the racing here, it can be absolutely incredible. We've had two cautions so far, uh, but really clean racing for the most part. Yeah, we're gonna, we definitely found out who the fast trucks were that run. Uh, right now, this is looking like garbage and element show. Tech needs, has a little bit of work to do, but... I think he has a truck to, at the very least, keep up with these guys, maybe mix it up a little bit at the end of a stage, especially if they get to racing each other. But, uh, again, as we saw, lap traffic, as we talked about since the pre-race, that's going to be the main issue that these drivers are going to have to watch out for. Absolutely. I do have to give a shout-out. Uh, if you guys still want to donate, they have reached their $5,000 goal, and I'm super pumped for these guys. They did so much work going into it, and I appreciate you guys donating. As we're coming back for Stage 2, if you do want to donate, I'm going to put the link in the stream, and you can do so. Uh, but absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. We are back to green for Stage 2. No surprise here. Let's take a look at who is leading, if I can get my camera on them out there. Apparently, they're, some of these drivers did elect to pit there. I uh, don't know if it was to if it was to, to get a cool set of tires. Maybe the tires are wearing just enough that they don't like the, the, uh, the change in grip, so they opted to, to come in there. But a very interesting decision to, to put yourself back in the field. Yeah. And there's a wreck. <laughs> it definitely moved things around. You saw garbage back there. Uh, I don't know if he was involved. I don't even see him where he was. Oh, there he it is. Was, okay. He was in the middle of the pack. Tom Tom and, and Johnny Rocket. Uh, Tom's had, had a couple of issues already. And now Johnny Rocket's had a couple of issues. And here they are together. Uh, birds of a feather spin together, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll workshop that one. You know, and... Uh, I know Tom Tom, he was not exactly thrilled with his truck and how it was handling tonight. So, uh, you know, I know this is a tough track for him. He just needs to stay out there and survive. He's doing great in points. So he just needs to hang on to the points and bring as many of them home as he can. Uh, that's the name of the game for him tonight. He's not gonna be getting himself a win unless something drastically changes out there. He is fast at so many tracks, but I know tonight, was a concern for him. We have some lagging going on. I don't know if you saw that, but Skiboski, uh, he was a little bit laggy in front of garbage out there. Looks like we have a little bit of movement from Element out front. We're going to try to take a look at him. But he is currently yeah, I think sitting some in more third. guys came to pit road. Oh, the 99 gets loose outside of garbage. That knocks him down the track. Uh, very, uh, very unfortunate placement for some of these guys. It's very dangerous to be underneath the bottom of, oh, they're leaning on each other and they're four wide and that's not conducive to, to not wrecking. These guys are getting crazy. It's stage two. We have Skiboski. Oh, he gets sideways. Oh, the 43 is all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> he is. He was lagging a couple of seconds ago there. Uh, man, look at these guys. Almost five wide. They were four wide for a second there. We had 99 of Delta Rocket. These guys are getting crazy. The 28, the 47. Look at them all. Ski, I think, is pulling over. Uh, he's been called out for the lag let's take it back up front though we have expert toaster he was in the booth with element and also m levine these guys are doing so great expert toaster is oh, another garbage fast one. Is around let's well, take that's a garbage look goes around <laughs> and now he's doing donuts <laughs> one thing that this track can bring uh, when you have this many custom trucks out here, it's going to bring the lag. And I'm thinking that some of these guys are seeing a lot of it. I myself have seen a little bit, and uh, it's just one of those things. You get the custom paint schemes out here, it will bring it. Yeah, it is a thing that happens, and uh, gosh, just... 
Oh, there's a big old wreck on the back straight. The 99, the 8 involved, the 1 car involved. That's a big old wreck involving 3 cars, maybe more, but 3 definitely went around. Uh, the 8 of Tom Tom involved in another, but that 6 car, I think he's, he saw the 38. He was able to, he either, I think he made, I think those some of those guys came back to pit road again, like racing this like a normal race while Element stayed out for track position. That put him in third on that restart in really good position, whereas Garbage was in the middle of the field. Uh, he was racing really, really hard. Him and Tack both saw the, the guy they're racing with, the driver they're racing against right now. Uh, he was pulling away, driving off into the sunset, and they were five wide, and, and things just got way too aggressive there. Absolutely. I mean, track position is everything for this track. It's so hard to be around, uh, you know, all these other drivers and try to make a clean race. It's just you got to stay out there. And what Element has done, he's kept the track position, and that's exactly what he needs to do. Garbage is struggling. You can see him right there. Uh, he's got to make his way back up there, and until he does, he's going to have a rough time. And it's a really tough position that Garbage is putting him in, but this is a tough place to pass. It really is. You can fight really, really hard on that outside line, keep that guy pinched around the bottom. That's, that's where you want to run by yourself is on that bottom line, but you can keep up a great run. You scrub off less speed. You can keep that driver underneath you pinched down. Uh, it's really, really advantageous to be on the outside of somebody. You know, in the 41... We talked about him. He is super fast tonight, and look, he is out there leading and has been doing a great job. Element has been trying to make his way around him. Hasn't been able to do so yet. Doc just has a really fast truck, and now that he's out there, he can show it. And as soon as I say that, we have Element and diving underneath, trying to take over that lead. The 41 takes it super wide. That's going to allow that 38 to get a little nose edge out there. He can't make it happen just yet, but man, and Doc is trying to hold it out as he takes over the second. The 41 was getting a really good run. I think the 38 was just being patient with him, trying not to get into it like what, like the 2 is getting into the 41 <laughs> right now. Uh, I think he was just trying to, 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 to be clean about it, and he was being patient. And the opportunity finally arose. He got underneath him, and then he was just able to, to power around that, that 41 truck. And now that he's doing that, Doc is trying all he can to keep that position. We had Rams that get into yeah, he, him, make him almost completely it. sideways. <laughs> and then Doc got back right back into him he immediately sure did. in the next corner. <laughs> he sure did. But guys, we have yet another caution. We need a caution counter tonight. I think that is the fourth caution of the night. You're going to see it. We're at the dirt. Uh, three, four, five wide. A lot of bumping and banging. We got the caution out there, J-Mac. We got the caution. This really helps drivers like Garbage, like Tack, that are kind of in in a bad situation right now as far as track position goes. Gets everybody lined back up, but uh, they might have to get a little aggressive here. Everybody is apparent. There are apparently a lot of people pitting, uh, maybe making some adjustments to their cars, getting more tires on, getting cooler tires on. Uh, that might be a, a, a thing that, that could be advantageous. Uh, I think a lot of these drivers are, are are doing that, and the six, again, he goes further back than he was. He hit pit road. Yeah, he sure did. He Obviously, something is going on with this truck he is not liking. He's trying to fix it. We have Element out here still hanging on to the lead. We have two of Ramsden on that outside. We have Doc in that 41 directly behind. These guys are really fast, and I'm impressed with Ramsden and Doc. Uh, they really have a good performing truck out here. Ramsden on that high side has a nose edge out there. He's going to take over the lead. Element just hanging on to that low side, trying to make something happen. These guys are having a fantastic battle out here. Yeah, really fighting hard on that outside is that two car of ramps. The two fires off really fast. He's really quick at the start of these runs, it seems like. But... I, as the run goes along, he falls off just a little bit as those tires start to heat up and they wear off just a little bit. That, that truck falls off and uh, he kind of, but he has sort of established himself as that, I hate to sound, I hate to say second tier because that, that's kind of a, 
That's that's borderline insulting, but he really has, has <laughs> asserted himself in that second tier as far as speed goes in this race, which is which ramps it usually not a driver we really talk a lot during uh during a lot of these races so this is really cool to see him up here absolutely and look at these two battling it out they have a nice little padding between him and doc who's currently sitting in third element answers and he is taking over the lead rams it we've seen him be very aggressive tonight he is not afraid to use the horns out there uh he's trying all he can do to catch up to element i am not surprised if he gives him a little uh side bang on the door there but he's looking very strong out there I do have to say a quick shout out to everyone in chat. More dog to Deshi, Farrah Fawcett, go fast, Matt. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hope you're enjoying the race. These guys are crazy out here, J-Mac. They really are, but someone who is very tame right now is that 38 truck out in front. Uh, he's starting to set sail a little bit, running a really smooth line. You can see that lime green six car almost a full straightaway behind him in the middle of a snarling pack. The nine of Tack in a little bit better situation. He's in fifth right now, uh, trying to, but he's got a few trucks to work through. The, the 19's going to, I think, is in an okay position because the, the stage is about to end here pretty quickly, and uh, he'll be able to restart in that top five in those first couple of rows, I feel like, unless he gets involved in a wreck or makes a mistake here. But that yeah. six of, of garbage has a ton of work to do. He has a ton of work to do. Uh, you see him coming up on boss in that double zero in the 18. These guys racing side by side. <sighs> Garbage. He's our pole sitter out here. He's got a really good looking truck out there. He's just got a lot of traffic to go through. And I've talked to a few of them. Position is everything. And look at him bumping into pro boss there. He wants through and he's ready to make it happen. We're going to go through the traffic here. Let's take a look at Jose. He is back on track. This guy, he's on a mission. He was struggling on, uh, you know, getting onto this game. Wasn't doing great with the setups. He was so frustrated. He's like, I'm starting to get it. I'm coming back out on track. You guys need to watch out. So I'm excited to see what he is going to do in the cup cars. Uh, he's out here in trucks and looking pretty steady right now. He's got a lot of work to do to get up through traffic, but I'm excited to have him back. Oh, yeah, I think this bumped is a, oh. from Wonder. <laughs> Hard bump there. Yeah, Wonder got loose. That's again, you, some of these drivers on hot tires, maybe a little too loose of a setup up in that high line, especially at a turn two. It can get really slick. If you're trying to run up there and uh, it happened to wonder and he just got into garbage but i was riding along with big john that's a driver who was running i believe fifth early in the early stages of this race he's in the back of the pack now he's got a decent car but he just got loose maybe got into wonder maybe got got by wonder <laughs> who knows but uh, he just got the wall and uh and so not the not the middle stages of the race that that 47 truck won nine to go as we cross the line and we're on board with michael levine looking pretty good out there this guy uh like i said it's his first race you guys so a huge props to him to coming out here and he's on dirt uh like we said you know we figured his first race would be at talladega or an easier track no this guy's not afraid he's going out here on the dirt at del eldora so great job to him he's he's doing pretty darn good i gotta say He's got Ramsit right behind him, gets into the wall. I don't know if Ramsit helped him into the wall there. We've seen him a couple of times uh, putting the chrome horn out to some guys. So we're going to see. We got Michael with some damage out there. He's going to have to repair that yeah, under this caution. Is a, this is a learning experience for for, my, for Michael Levine in the, <laughs> in the, in the, in the, the getting out of the way actively getting out of the way could almost cause more problems than it that it can uh fix things just uh run your line most of these guys will will race you race you decently and, you know you'll occasionally get get a bump here or there and and have someone yell at you for being in the way but uh he just needs to run his line stay comfortable and uh, keep it off the wall definitely because that's just going to hurt the truck even more but 
uh, just needs to run a good smooth line and the rest will take care of itself. We're coming four to go as we cross the line and element. This guy is a man on a mission. He's coming up for, for lap traffic here. Uh, let's take a look behind him though, J-Mac. He's really got the track to himself right now besides the guys in front of him. Uh, they're going to have to do a lot of work behind him as he's got Ooh, a car come oh, down on him. MDL of 42. <laughs> Man, scary situation there. And <laughs> I know Element is probably just thinking, thank goodness I survived this. Let's get on. Uh, you know, we can't let this stop us. Yeah, you're at a at a at a track where your your rear end is naturally hanging out to get clobbered in the right front. Usually results in a spin. So, uh, very lucky or uh, very very good to to uh, to hang on to that thing with as hard as a hit as he just took. But that's that's something that's something that a lot of these drivers aren't aren't used to. There is a massive difference in speed here, and uh, and. You know, if you're trying that diamond line or a late entry and there's a car going, you know, a half a second, full second faster than you, uh, coming up on you, you might not be ready for it. This should be the final lap of the stage two. So Element, as long as he hangs on to it and no one takes him out, he should be good to go and he crosses the line. He is the winner of stage two. That's going to help him out in the points. And I know that he is wanting uh, all those points that he can get. I heard there was a tight race for a second. You can see it right here. Rams it has a little bit of a nose out. Very, very close between Rams it and uh, yeah, and TAC 24 and that 19. Yeah, TAC 24. It looked like Garbage was able to work his way up to fifth. I'm not sure if he was able to pass Doc there or not uh, for, for that fourth spot, but he was able to work his way into the top five. So both of these drivers are going to have decent starting positions here for this final stage final stage guys like i said it goes by so fast and the racing here is incredible imagine being these drivers though you're racing against guys two three four wide it is a rhythm track i keep saying it but it truly is if you get out of the rhythm it can really mess you up uh even destroy your race so Look at, look at Garbage out here. He has made his way back out to the front. A lot closer this time. We have Ramsey on the outside of the yeah, leader. A lot of, uh, so a lot of drivers elected not to pit there. We had the tack. Uh, tack has fallen way back in the field. He elected to pit there, get some fresh tires, uh, maybe make a, a repair to his truck, but that has really, really hurt his chances here. Element and Rams it going side by side and Big garbage is trying to make his way out there We're gonna see if a caution comes out I'm not seeing one just yet, but there I'm from what I'm hearing There is a big wreck in the back as garbage is diving down underneath these two are racing for the lead We have Rams it directly behind him in third man. These guys are gonna get crazy We're back to having the pole and uh, the outside racing against each other Garbage was on pole, Emlet was on the outside, and these two are back at it once again. Yeah, and Garbage is being super aggressive. We saw earlier he where is. he basically pinched the, the 38 down into the wall when he got inside of him. Uh, he was trying to make some moves, and, uh, and uh, move being the operative word there. Uh, 38 was able to hold him off a little bit, hold on to the truck, and uh, keep it in the gas and keep it off the wall, and was able to hold on to the lead. We're on board with M. Levine once again. Still holding steady out there, doing a great job. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to donate to Extra Life, they did meet their goal, but any little bit helps, and it goes straight uh, to helping the kids. So let's bring that back out. You guys can click on the link if you want to donate. I know he will appreciate it. They've done such hard work out there. So huge props out to them for doing that and for you guys for helping. Such an amazing thing. And uh, huge props for him for taking on dirt as his first track. <laughs> a trial by fire, just dry, diving headfirst into into a one foot deep pool. But he's a uh, he's done very valiant. He's been very valiant. He's done valiantly. Sorry, <laughs> gracious, that was uh, healing my tires there. there. Jeez. Uh, good grief, uh, just just trying to accelerate and couldn't get the grip in the rear tires. But. Uh, He's performed admirably today, uh, given the uh, the lack of experience and the difficulty of the track and the racing. 
uh, and the league here tonight. And we have the leaders uh, side by side with him at the moment. We have Element still leading. Garbage is in second, so they make it through. 95 taking it pretty low, though. Man, oh, Garbage goes right the... into the 21 of Little Wing there. Very, very yeah, tight the 21 racing. Got... Yeah, the Garbage went in high, thinking the, that 21 would stay low. The 21 went up about uh, two lanes off of the bottom and, and just kind of got into him there and that really 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 helped element get a big a big old advantage here absolutely garbage is gonna have to really nail it down and uh try to catch up back up to him but element he is a rhythm guy just like garbage once you get in a rhythm they are off and gone so garbage i guarantee he can make his way back up there it just might take him a minute Yeah, it'll take one, all it'll take is one yellow to get them side by side with each other again, and and uh, this this race has not been uh, as, uh, as it has not had a had a drought of them at all. It's there's been a few cautions, a lot of them in the back, and as uh, jumbled up as this field, I imagine is going to get here in the, the coming laps. I could I could definitely see a yellow bunch in this field back up again. Oh, a little bit of contact between M. Levine and TAC24. They managed to hold on to it, but a little sketchy for a second. Great job to these drivers. Uh, I was talking to Levine earlier, and he was saying, you know what? I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm good. I just want to stay out of the way. I don't want to cause too many cautions. So you're doing great out there. I'm super proud of him. Uh, very, very brave. That would not be my first choice. It's a 28. <laughs> Hits the wall out there super hard. Oh, oh and the 50. Ooh. Oh, he was that's ghosted. Gonna... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, that, that's going to break out of yellow. Yeah, the 51 started backing down, and I thought Garbage was about to clobber him, and then he phased through him like a ghost. So <laughs> that's when I realized that he was ghosted. But uh, uh, that's, that's the yellow that I think Garbage was looking for. I think tack was definitely looking for he he needs something to, to break his way here and uh, this is definitely not what element wanted definitely not what element wanted uh you know he this is the last thing he wants is to bunch everyone back up and give them a shot because once you're in all that traffic it is just so super hard to hang on to it once garbage got into it with another car and had that contact that let him get away and uh, now that's all gone, so it changes everything. We have Element, he obviously stayed out. Garbage on the outside. We are once again getting ready to go green in the final parts of the race here, so we're coming down to it, guys. Garbage gets a huge lead. Look at him out there leading already. Has a nice start. Element tucks in to take second. We have Rams it still out there. Uh, he looks like he's currently sitting in third. A ton of traffic behind for these guys. Going three and four wide. Man, the racing back there. That's got to be so intense to be involved in. Uh, I'm glad I'm out here in the booth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm running along with uh, with AKA ZWR. He's right in the middle of all this. He's, he's bouncing off of trucks. He's at the bottom right now. Uh, just a... A, a hornet's nest here from about sixth on back. Yeah, we're going to go on board with ZWR. Uh, from what I'm understanding, it is his birthday today, so happy birthday to him. Uh, it would be a great way to celebrate your birthday by having a good run at Eldora. Ooh. This guy's getting crazy out here, though. He's riding side by side with the, the 19. Yeah, the 47 of Big John, he's worked his way back up into the top five, but he just lost a lot of momentum. He slid up into the three of Blue Baca. Meanwhile, the double zero of Pro Boss slides up into him, just squeezes him just a little bit almost into the wall. Uh, drivers are not afraid to, uh, to, to use each other right now. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on in dirt, though. You can lean on each other, but man, oh, man, some of these dive bombs and... Uh, using those doors they're not afraid to get aggressive tonight hey you're getting no no points off for having to clean up a, a, a donut in the oh <laughs> zwr gets in there way too low he looks like he nicked the uh, the inside wall where it kind of juts out a little bit uh that sent him up the track and uh luckily that was not a 
bigger incident than it was, but I think somebody got him pretty hard in the rear end. Not sure who it was, but they definitely probably had some damage and a really tight and hard to turn race car here. You can see him and Turner going side by side. Very, very close out there, but yeah, just look at the dirt flinging. And this is what he is seeing right now. Uh, you just have to concentrate on that line. You really want to get down to that line uh, by the inside wall. If you get down below it, though, it can really slow you down and kind of turn your truck just a little too much. And he is all over that 96 of Bronco. We've got the 47 of Big John right up ahead. These guys were almost taking it three wide. Very, very close right there. Yeah, we're to the point where ZWR is just using Bronco to turn right now. Every time he gets underneath him, uh, just slides up just a little bit, uses him to, to make that arc in the center of the corner. Uh, you know, just a little harmless contact, but I'm sure Bronco's not in appreciating it too much. We're back out here with the leaders, and we still have Garbage and Element battling it out for the lead. Element is just putting the pressure on him back at his quarter panel. He is trying to make his way underneath. Man, gives him a little bit of nudge. Look at this, how aggressive these two are. Days of thunder right now. Garbage is coming back down, going across his nose, and it is not slowing Element up at all. These two are just back at it, battling once again. Uh, not too much going on around him, though, J-Mac. Yeah, they're about to run into some... Uh into some lap traffic, but Garbage pretty much set the rules of engagement with the uh, with the with a couple of instances of contact. So uh, that pretty much <laughs> gives uh, Element the green light to use that bumper. I think he's going to wait a little while before he before he does it to make an actual pass. I think he's being real patient right now, like he was with the 41 of Doc. This this truck is on more equal footing, so it's going to be a much tougher pass than that 41 truck ended up being. But I do believe right now the 38 might be a little bit better here, and I think he's just being patient and waiting for the right moment to strike. Absolutely. They're making their way through the lap traffic. The 51 Oof. goes across garbage nose. Uh, very that's a, tight there. That's a couple of uh, instances here where the 51 is turned down across our leader's nose. <laughs> one of them, uh, one of our top three is... He is having a very rough race tonight. J-Mac, I don't know if you saw what I just saw, but the 51 got underneath, and I mean under the body of, I do believe that is 24 that is behind Element. Uh, we saw him on top of the truck of, I think that was Johnny Rocket. So crazy what we just saw there. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> and that is Jose up there. So he took a ride on top of another truck, and I, I think that was Johnny Rocket. Yeah, garbage right now. He's running it a little bit hot into turn one, sliding up a little bit. Element a little smoother line, keeping it down low. But here it looked like garbage running a little bit higher, a little smoother line, but element just a little bit lower, and he was able to make up some ground. Absolutely. Uh, there's not too many more laps. I'm hoping to get a lap count soon because I did not hear him the last time, but laps uh, are winding down here. Final stage, and you can see oh, yellow. Uh, we have a yellow. That is the eight of Tom Tom and somebody else up there. Uh, can't really tell which truck that is, but uh, those are the two cars that have caused this this caution. And uh, we're gonna get ourselves a late restart with this with the six and the thirty eight side by side with each other. It's gonna that be ought very to be interesting. A little under twenty to go when that came out, so. It's going to be a battle to the finish. Uh, we're going to have the 6 and the 38, as J-Max said, battling it out once again. It's going to give the guys behind them another chance to make some magic happen. Uh, they're going to have to put the work in, though. I'm curious who is going to go into pit. We have Garbage that stays out, 38. Uh, there's really no reason we might have a couple of other guys go into pit as you can see a couple of positions change here but we are off to green I'm, once again i'm very curious about who that driver in fourth he has been struggling to get back to the front he's, he's getting a little bit of uh, of uh, door music there from the two of ramsett but at 19 of, of aka tack he has 
one of the fastest trucks in the field. Now he's going to get the opportunity to show up, but the two of Ramsit gets up into him. Ramsit <laughs> using him to turn off the exit. Ramsit has been so aggressive tonight. It's uh, it's crazy to me. Uh, he has really just not had an Ooh, issue the with... the wall that... <laughs> oh, and whoever that yellow truck is, that blue Baca, he got in there really hot. He might have had some help from the car, the truck behind him, which I believe was the double zero of Pro Boss. They just kind of accordioned it in there, and uh, Ramsit, it looked like was going to get the worst end of that deal, but he was able to hold on to it. And Doc in that 41, as we have another yellow, 15 to go. Uh, Doc, who was the leader at one point, he is stuck in traffic and he really needs to stay out to try to gain some positions. Uh, but it's gonna be super tough. We had Tack who moved Element out of the way from what I'm hearing uh, to take over second for that caution that came out. Garbage, however, he is still leading. Uh, the 19 is gonna be in second and Element is gonna take over third. I'm not sure how bad of a, of a thing that's going to be for Element, starting in third, right behind that night, that that uh, six car, six truck, is uh, not ideal, but it's not the worst place to be if he can hang on to that truck's bumper and uh, not let the 19 in line. You know, and what I've noticed from him being on the outside, when Element was on the outside, he immediately slowed up and tucked his way directly behind Garbage. So for him. It may be a good thing, but like you said, now he's got to fight that 19 because he already made his way in line. He's in second, trying to go underneath garbage. Look at this. We have the 19 of Tack. Oh, the six, way yeah. too fast off the corner. He hits the wall and that gives I... Tack the momentum. He needs to take over first. Oh, Tack, Tack is gonna clear himself. That's gonna slow him down and that's gonna give that 19 truck the lead. New leader, 19 of TAC 2488. This guy out here leading the first time uh, for this race. 10 to go. If he can hold on to it, he might bring himself the first win of the winter season. We have Garbage in second, Element in third. These guys in the long, long line going back. It starts to get pretty crazy back there, but man, these front four, we are going to have to watch. You can see yeah. him right there, yeah. It's, it's, Go ahead, Jim. It's, it's it's crazy. I think the six car has such good launch on the starts. He has such good restart gears that the guy on the outside has no choice to, but to get inside, and it's it's beating that third place truck by so much, or that third place truck starts behind the one truck so much. And I think we well, it looked like we had a yellow, but it looked like just garbage got super loose and that <laughs> spilled them both up. him and element speed yeah yeah but <laughs> it's i think he's just getting such a launch that that it's really playing into the hands of whoever gets to start second and uh and aka tack uh, was able to benefit from it and get on the inside and all it took was a little slip up by garbage and and here we are with that 19 truck leading and trying to sail off into the sunset and he is trying to do just that and putting a little bit more padding between him and second of garbage. Can he hang on to it though? He's really going to have to just concentrate on hitting his lines and, you know, hitting those turns, making sure he does what he needs to do to hold them off. Because we're going to five to go, guys. A couple of laps left. And for these guys, we have garbage that was leading a bunch, element that was leading a bunch. Tack is out here and J Mac has called it. He's got a super strong car. And this is his moment to shine. If he can hold on to it, he's going to bring himself home a win. I really think this 38 just a little bit better than the six truck right now, but he just can't find a place to make a pass. If he could, I don't think there's enough time for him to do anything with it. Is the, the 19 right now is the fastest truck on the on the on the circuit? It looks like as he's uh, pulling away. He is pulling away, and meanwhile, they are just battling out here for second place, but. Three to go and look at the traffic that Tack is coming up on. This is not what he wants to see right now. He wants it to be clear in front of him. But look at this, guys. Who is behind him? We have garbage and element. They're just thinking, yes, slow him up. That'll give us a chance to catch up. Element's not going to fight garbage yeah, oh, right now as he hits oh, the wall. The element. The wall. Element loses it. I do believe the that was six, him. The six <sighs> got the wall 
Yeah. And the 38 just had nowhere to go and just plowed into his, his left rear as the 6 just lost all of his speed when he got the wall. But Garbage pushing really, really hard to try to get back to that 19 and just just caught the wall and, and he actually made out pretty well on it. But the 38 car head first into the inside wall. He's going to be damaged. And uh, that's going to be it for his chance to win this race. It's going to be between that 19 and the 6 now. Absolutely. He's going to be so frustrated over that. Uh, but the 19, he really just has to concentrate on making sure he has a good restart and uh, holding garbage off because garbage is a tough one out there. But once he hit that wall, Element had nowhere to go. And that just made him go into the out inside wall. And uh, his race for the win is, I think, over. Yeah, it's going to take a few green-white checkers here. It's going to take a couple of overtimes, and as short as these laps are, I just don't see that happening. And they are off and running once again. 19 on the inside. Let's take a look. We have Garbage on the outside. He's got a little nose out there. Really great run on that outside. Tack is going to have to hold him off, though. I don't know if he can do it. Garbage is about to clear him as they head across the turn and over the finish line. Let's take a look. Can Tack do it? It's going to be so close. Ooh, garbage is garbage just... Garbage crowding him. Yeah, you know he's doing that on purpose. He is just crowding him down oh, yeah. there. 19 got the a 19 little nose out. in there. He's going to try to clear it. And it ends under yellow. It ends with, under I yellow. 19 just slightly out front, I think. This is going to be crazy. Possibly. Let's see. That is the aid of Tom. Tom. He was involved in it. He's way behind the field. Uh, the 42 of MDL is way behind the field. The 51 of Johnny Rocket, no surprise, he's way behind the field. Uh, M. Levine, he's not nearly as far behind the field as some of these other guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, From what I'm hearing, 19 is the winner. Uh, so he did have a nose out when the caution came out. Garbage takes home second when that caution came out. Rams it. He's going to take home top three. That is absolutely crazy, guys. <laughs> that is a, that's really, really unfortunate. I wanted to see if the 19 would have stuffed the six in the wall there. Uh, if they would have, if they wouldn't have, if they would have come off the line and, uh, and, uh, and who would have won that drag race to the finish? Who would have gotten stuffed in the wall? Who would have gotten maybe knocked out of the inside wall? What could have been? But uh, we just got that yellow flag right at the very end there. But uh, but really, really good race. And, and again, a, a call out to that two truck. We That was a very, very strong race. That was insane. Tack had a nose out once the race finished. Uh, absolutely incredible. We're going to see if we can get garbage out in here. And uh, we have oh, Ramsit coming man. in incredible race tack congratulations uh, on the win what a race I, out there <laughs> appreciate it appreciate it uh tell me what was going through your mind going through the front of that race uh we saw you you had a strong truck the whole time uh just patience i would assume out there what was going through your mind try not to wreck garbage <laughs> 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 that's the one it was I, a fast I hear car. You. Me and Garbage been working on it all day. Absolutely. And at those final turns, what did you think? Did you think you were going to be able to pull it off against Garbage going into those final few turns? Not really. Not really. <laughs> oh, man. You, you did awesome out there. It was really great watching you battle and make your way out front. Position. I feel like position on the track was everything. Uh, is that what you felt like out there? Oh, definitely. You definitely needed a track position. Absolutely. All right, well, you brought the fast truck out there. Uh, <laughs> you had the rhythm going, and when the caution came out, the race was over. You had just a nose out on him. You won yourself the first race for the winter season for you. A huge congratulations. Uh, I'm excited to see what you're going to do for the rest of the season here. Appreciate it. All right. J-Mac, you want to give our second place of garbage an interview here? I will indeed here with Wow That's Garbage. A very strong run tonight. Definitely one of the... 
the three best trucks out there, led a bunch of laps. It it just talk about your race. You you're running well, then you got caught up in an incident and got mired in the back. How'd you make it back up to the front? Yeah, I shouldn't have repeated after that first stage. Because we ended up catching damage trying to get back through, and then uh, had to repair that, obviously, so that put us back again. And then once we did finally get up there, with about 20 to 30 to go, a uh, lap down car slid up in front of us and gave us even more damage. So, that was great, and there was hardly any time to repair it at the end. So, it's a bummer, but it was fun. Talk about that race to the finish there. Uh, some really good good racing between between you and Element and Tack and, and uh, you three were putting it on and and just talk about that late that last yellow. He he was driving off. You you finally got that yellow to get alongside of him. Talk about that last restart. Yeah, that actually come out on uh, me and Element. We had come off uh, four there and caught the wall and just kind of couldn't get off of each other there. So, uh, yeah, that was... A little unfortunate there, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. He just got in there and we had damage, so there wasn't much I could do. A little nudge out of the way, and that was all she wrote, so. Well, crazy race up and down, <laughs> rode the elevator through the, through the grid, but you came out in second place, and, and you definitely knew that they were that you were there, so uh, an excellent job tonight, and, and a strong run. Thank you. Rams it bringing home top three tonight. A very solid truck. We saw you have a little bit of aggressiveness out there. Uh, was that part of the plan, or were you just put uh, in certain circumstances where you just uh, needed to do what I, you had to do? I tell you, I uh, during practice, I uh, I did a few more little tweaks to her, and I I kind of figured I was going to have a top five truck. I I was pretty confident running up in you know against element was awesome you know that was that was pretty cool and it was just uh i don't know if i was real aggressive i hope i wasn't too aggressive but you know i just really wanted to get a top five and my truck was pretty good tonight you had a great truck and it was so fun watching you guys battle it out there so many close uh battles that you guys were having just back and forth so it's really cool to see you out here for top three tonight you had a great truck absolutely. like he said so congratulations on that absolutely thanks all right j mac you want to give michael levine uh his first race interview after <laughs> absolutely i sure will well michael levine uh, you were uh, sort of uh, thrown into the fire i, I described it diving headfirst into a uh, into a one-foot pool. Uh, so, talk about your first race, your first league race, uh, your time on the dirt, and and what you might have learned. Uh, man, these guys are good. Um, <laughs> that's that was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I think I was probably in the way a fair bit. I definitely caused at least two of those cautions. I think, but um, no, it's fun, man. It was fun to race with some of these guys and. Um, like I said, these guys are just, they're on a whole nother level. So, uh, it was, that was really enjoyable. Well, you did, you did a, a, a fantastic job, all things considered. Uh, you know, the, uh, put into context, your very first ever league race, they, they stuck you on dirt and trucks with, uh, with, uh, with a top tier league and, and, and from my, from my standpoint, you didn't make too much of a butt of yourself. So I think that's mission of a comp mission accomplished. <laughs> and, uh, and you did a, you did a fine job out there. No, I appreciate it. That was, uh, like I said, that was fun. That was definitely a challenge. Um, dirt is tough, man. You, you try to get the high line working and then you just get loose laid off. And, and, uh, you know, when you're trying to stay out of the way, the last thing you want is to get loose, you know, late, late exit. So, um, you know, but it, but it was good. That was a, that was, it was cool seeing these guys race. Uh, you know, I've, I've watched, obviously I was part of the pro league, uh, um, for LFR and, you know, watch those guys, but I don't think you really get an idea of just how good these guys are, are until you actually get in a race with them and, and really get to see just how talented some of these guys are. I mean, I was, I was using another guy's setup and that's the difference between me and him. Um, so it, it's pretty crazy. Well, I hope you enjoyed your learning experience, and it was awesome having you out there. It's been it's been cool having you a part of all this for the last 
three or so weeks. However, it's uh, it's been really neat having you on board and and watching and and in the booth and you've been racing. You've been you've been kind of everywhere in this deal these last this past month. <laughs> Man, I I appreciate y'all letting me come on. I mean, it's it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed. You know, I enjoy both. Enjoy being in the booth with you two, and then uh, uh, on the track with those guys. Um, it's just cool to hang out with a, a good group of people, man. It's it's been fun. And I look forward to doing some more. Absolutely, I'm glad you had a good time, and uh, throw it to Frozen here. I, I gotta give a shout out to you, for, Michael, for allowing us to help you raise money for Extra Life. Also, um, Roundabout Production, they raise so much money for the kids for these hospitals. And you guys reached your goal of 5,000. So incredible job to you. And just thank you for allowing us to be part of that and trying to help you guys. And a huge shout out to everyone that uh, donated and were a part of it. You guys are absolutely amazing. Yeah, well, and, and thank you to you guys. I mean, y'all really helped us get that last stretch, uh, you know, that we didn't get during our 24 hours. Um, I really... Really appreciate you guys going all out, and uh, I, I look forward to working with you guys on it in the future. I think, you know, Frozen and I talked a little bit about it earlier. I think we've got some cool ideas going into 2020 on how to, you know, make it bigger, better, and uh, raise more money for the kids. Absolutely. I look forward to it. It's going to be a fantastic time, and it's for such a great cause. Again, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Thank you for donating. If you still want to donate, I'm going to put the link out there once again. Uh, it does... Remind me, it does end uh, after, you know, once the new year starts. So the 31st is the last time you can donate. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, 11.59, December 31st. That is the last chance to donate for 2019. But as soon as they open up registrations for 2020, we will be uh, right there, signed up, ready to raise more money for the kids. So if you can't get to it this year, uh, we'll definitely get around to it next year. Awesome. All right. Well, I got to say congratulations to Tack for his first win of the season. So excited for this guy. He did a great job out there. Uh, garbage on the second. Rams it coming out here, running out the top three. We Such a huge night. So many things going on. Then we have uh, Michael Levine out here on track, braving it out there. Uh, first time on track and he's on the dirt. So absolutely incredible. It was such a fun night. J-Mac, thank you so much for always being here. And Justin, for always being the guy, uh, letting us know everything that's going on, the laps, who's who's doing what, where. So you guys are awesome. Uh, we'll be back next week, same time, same day, Sunday at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in because we're going to be back on track, except this time we're going to be back in the cup. So you guys take it easy yeah. tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Frozen. All right, guys. Levine, you're crazy. I still can't believe you did that as your first race. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, it's true.